Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am sharing with you my week 70 updates of my fitness journey. And I know this video is going out on Monday, not necessarily on my normal Friday upload, but if you haven't seen my Friday upload, go watch it because it's just crazy news about Mike Stoffer. So I just suggest you go and watch it because it should just still be talked about and people shouldn't forget what happened because it was horrible. Anyway, like normal, I am just going to share with you what I did this week and then kind of give you some updates which there's not many this week but we will get into that a little later and then I will show you guys the progress photos so starting off on Saturday I actually went out to brunch with some friends and I decided to wear heels because it looked good with my dress and I was kind of like getting all like made up and stuff I also filmed this TikTok it was mainly for this TikTok that I wanted to do because I like the you know before getting ready and then after I just think it's really cute and fun so I decided to wear heels and that was a bad decision oh my gosh my feet hurt so bad so I don't recommend wearing heels to brunch and if you're gonna like do stuff after at least bring a different pair of shoes I've made this mistake twice now and clearly something just isn't clicking in my head because I just haven't learned my lesson and hopefully I've learned now hopefully we don't make the same mistake three times. Yeah, when I get all dressed up, I'm definitely going to at least throw a pair of flip flops in my car so that doesn't happen again. I will put on the screen here, um, I took 15,000 steps. So we walked like about six miles. Um, I climbed two flights of stairs. That's kind of weird that it tracks that, but this is just the activity app on my iPhone. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy. So I kind of consider that a workout day, even though I didn't actually like work out. I got a lot of steps in, my feet were killing me and like my calves were getting a workout and my feet were definitely getting some sort of a workout um, given that I was wearing heels that day. So I decided to take a rest day on Sunday. So I was like, I am not doing anything on Sunday. I just like rest, did a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, I just edited videos and just took the day to myself because I was like pretty tired. Monday, I was still really tired, but I wanted to do something. I was gonna say screw it and like not do anything, but I decided to do the booty and ab workout. It is a 30 minute workout and it's pretty much live. So she's like talking to you, which I like, but I would just been listening to my own music in my headphones. So I just like put the TV on mute and then just work out to my own music and just follow along with Pamela Reef. Um, and that's 30 minutes, so it was pretty good. It was pretty chill and I got like a good amount of workout in and then I was really pumped after doing that. Sometimes I just, the mindset has to be like, okay, just do this one and then you can be done. But then after the 30 minute workout, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like really pumped. Like let's do one more workout. So I decided to do the happy sweat and I really like this one because it's a good medium size workout, like medium size. It's like medium challenging challenge. It's like, it's not too hard, but it's not like super easy either. So I decided to do that. And then Wednesday I ran. So Wednesday I ran 2.84 miles and burned 296 calories. So that was amazing. I ran for so long and this is like kind of part of an update. So just, you know, mentally put it in the next little segment of this video, but I just wanted to share it now. Um, I did it, I made it to a 3K and I got this little badge, which is super cute. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Okay, so the camera didn't decide to focus, so I'll just put it on the screen so you guys can see. That was super exciting. And then Thursday, I didn't do anything. As you guys know, like typically Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't really do anything. And also Wednesday, I probably burned a lot because I helped on a shoot um, at Wild Florida. So that was pretty cool. And I did a lot of walking and like lifting and stuff. Um, not super heavy stuff, but still. Friday, today I did another run and I ran 2.66 miles and burned 280 calories. 
And then I also did an upper body workout. It was the Pamela Reef like upper body one where she's like wearing the pink outfit. And then I also did the Alexis Wren ab workout, which is like 10 minute workout. So today was pretty productive and everything. Okay, so going on to the updates, I've already mentioned my 3K badge, which is really exciting. And I actually ran for like a good 20, 25 minutes this week. So today I actually ran 25 minutes straight, which is like crazy. And my tips for like keeping up the running and stuff. Okay, first you can't start out and use all of your energy. I just, I call it trotting because like you're still moving, but you're not expending, is that the right word? You're not expending like all that energy, you know? So you're just like kind of, it's like a kind of calm trot. And then sometimes you just get like, so like pumped up and then you go a little faster and harder with the run. Also another tip I have for you guys, which I found to be really helpful. And this might be like a little bit negative, but sometimes I just think how like unfair life is sometimes for either myself or like someone else I know, um, like a family member that's just like mad. Like, why do they have to go through this hard thing or kind of feel sorry for yourself and like be so mad and just like sweat it out and you'll feel so good after like oh my gosh like why doesn't that guy like me like hello <laughs> like that's what I feel like and then it just like gets me really going and also listen to good for you by Olivia Rodrigo while you're running and think of that person or people that just like piss you off and you will definitely get through the run because let me tell you that helped me so much it was like oh why do I have to blah 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 like just give yourself the biggest pity party and it'll get you so angry and then you'll get it out in that run it was just amazing and then also another tip I have for you treat yourself after so like we have these like white cheddar cheese puff things. So I was like, okay, if you finish this run, you get like this, these cheese puffs or veggie sticks, you know what I mean? Like some sort of treat. Like tonight we're having pizza. So when I was running, I was just like, you're gonna get that pizza tonight. Like you got this, you got this. So you can burn those calories so you can eat that yummy pizza, you know? So just kind of have that mindset of like, try to get yourself more motivated. Those are some really good tips I have for you guys. So I hope that was like kind of helpful when it comes to to running and just like working out in general. I think that's pretty much it for the tips and like updates and stuff. Moving on to the photos. So on the left is Alex at the beginning of year two and on the right is current Alex. And this is kind of like just a bad photo. Also I ate the entire like cheese puff bag. So I don't think that, you know, there's gonna be like much improvement, but we're trying over here. And then here's the side view of that. And I don't know, man you can be the judge. So that my friends is gonna be it for week 70's update. Overall though, I'm feeling like really good in my body and I feel like I'm looking good. So, and I'm feeling like a lot more confident in myself, which is amazing. Still working on portions, but we're getting there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.